Right, hello, happy new year. I hope you had a very, very nice break. This is the first tutorial for this year, 2022. Well, let's hope for many, many more. Today we are going to work on speed up a little bit the process of creation. So grab your coffee or tea or milk, whatever you want to drink. And let me show you how to access and create new assets. But first, let's see the intro. All right, so let's create a new document. In order to see your assets or your library of objects in Affinity, you can go to View, Studio, and you have Assets here. Opens a new tab here. Let me pull that out so we can have a quick look together on this one. Now, when I first bought Affinity Photo, it came with a bunch of assets. Let's add a stock image from Pexels. Mm, okay. Summer. We all dream about summer now that the winter is off. I'm going to leave this as a background because mm, why not? So, first of all, you want to create the category. So, create new category. And this is assets. Rename category. We can put here affinity photo new assets library, let's say. YouTube library. And hit OK. This is going to create a new category here. Then you have sub categories. So Let's rename this as text, hit OK, and let's add in artistic text. This is the main title for the thumbnail. And let's edit this one. I want to be, I want to have like Helvetica, regular, let's say medium size 64 and this is the title let's introduce let's duplicate this one with alt j or command j and make this light but not light italic just simple light or even thin but nah, leave it like that light and make it 36 double click on it this is the sub title for the thumbnail okay so we have black black as a font color now if you select the main title go on let me show you go here on this menu and add from selection and it added this one there and click on the subtitle of the thumbnail add to selection and now you have this is the main title and this is the subtitle and you can drag it in whenever you want you can change it you can change the font as well but this is not going to change the font of the asset that you have here. So let me delete this. Now let's import a logo and do the same here. Uh, let's place this on. Infinity photo. Okay, this is a SVG file. First let's Try to crop it a little bit. It's too big. Want it something like this. And close. 
close it. And there you go. We have Affinity Photo here. Rasterize it first, then you have it inside. Now you can just drop it whenever you want. Right, so a quick correction actually. If you want to embed a SVG, so basically a vector based graphic, and you want to preserve that option of being a vector, then you need to go a little bit deeper into the file in order to add it to your asset library. So without rasterizing the SVG, as I showed you earlier, double click on the affinity photo and you can see here that you have the group. The group contains the text, contain the curves. Now click on this layer and then go to your asset. For me, it's on the second monitor here. So you can see that I've included already this into my assets. So as usual, go here and add from selection. And there you go, added a second one. If you want to delete it, right click on it, delete asset and go ahead and click yes. And now you can use it basically as a vector and it's not going to be rasterized. Another thing that I forgot to mention is, so you have Affinity Photo here, so I created a few elements, but it's under text. If you want to create a new subcategory on the menu, create subcategory and rename it by, let's say, logos, hit OK. And you can, if you want to move your logo, just hold Alt on your keyboard and move the logo. Now back to the rest of the video. Okay. Mm. Let me show you something else. Um, let's find an umbrella. A beach. Okay. So something like this. Let's drag it in. Let's zoom out and write it in. So something like this. Let's select the umbrella. Okay, I'll not go further, but you understand the catch what I want to do. New layer with mask, apply. Right, so you have this umbrella here. Let's put it sluggishly here, something like this. Go back to the layer, layer mask. Let's remove the top here. Where is it? brush, remove the top, move this pixel layer underneath the title, back to 100%. Oh, scheisse. Okay. Now let's move this out of the way, something like this. And let's change the title with in Infinity photo. Okay, that's good. And this is how you create assets for quick access of your elements. Okay, but before we go, I forgot to add this umbrella to my assets. I want to show you something cool. So click on the umbrella or whatever object you have that has a mask and at the selection this will add your image to your asset collection okay when you <laughs> when you add this will uh, also grab the, um, the area not masks and also the blank area here but the cool thing is you have the mask preserved so if you want to mask even further or actually to clean this image you can do so by or revealing other elements you know that it has two chairs here if you need the chairs you just bring them in using the mask you can see it's here so it's very very cool and very very straightforward um, okay let me delete this one also if you create for your custom text Let's say you add an FX to this one. Let's say bevel, 
uh, 3D and you go nuts with I don't know, outer glow make a radius of actually it's not looking bad color overlay let's make now you can see how it's going to look if you create this and you add this to your collection it will preserve your FX so you can go afterwards double click on FX and just I don't know change the color of the background or the outer glow the 3d how it's interacting bevel the radius of the bevels and so on actually this looks cool the direction of the light where you want to hit so yeah this is a very very nice thing to know it will speed up your process of creating your youtube thumbnails or whatever you want to create now if you want to export it just go to your main uh, menu here export assets and it's going to create a file with all this included and that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and smash that like button to inform the gods of YouTube that this is a video that you really enjoyed. Please leave your comments below and let me know what else would you like to see covered here on this channel. Until next time, enjoy the video here and here. Take care.